This is my Benchmade bug out, and it is my uh, my winter jacket knife. Every year I rotate in a new uh, inside breast pocket jacket knife, and I'll, I'll show you how that works in a minute. But I'm not talking much about this knife. Uh, I'm talking more about this. This is the engagement ring. It's an addition uh, that you can add on to your, your bug out that comes to you from Snaggletooth Tactical. Uh, so what it is, is a little uh, aluminum post anodized beautifully to match the thumb studs of the and the um and the standoffs of the bug out and it fits over the standoff on the back of the bug out uh fits perfectly actually and has a really really nice uh action here and then there's a split ring uh so this is for pulling your knife out of your pocket it is an engagement ring it's to engage the knife i mean it's uh it's a play on words of course they did the cog ring uh for the uh for the um Recon 1, which was a fixed ring that kind of turned it into a karambit. Well, this is a different thing. This is like a fob or a lanyard, but it's metallic. And you have a positive grip on it with this ring. Um, so he sent it to me with this. Uh, I ordered one of these um, aluminum... So they make they started making these out of plastic, black plastic. They graduated at one point to anodized aluminum. They have a range of colors and plain, which is nice. And uh, so Rob Penna over there at Snaggletooth Tactical sent me this to check out. Do you think you'll like it? I said, I don't know, send it over. And uh, he sent it and I have to say, there was a learning curve for me with this because I'm used to a karambit. And when you pull a karambit, uh, it doesn't move on either axis. The, the, the ring is fixed. And so you can do all your manipulations and you're showing off with that. With this one, it moves on all these axes. It's not meant to be a karambit. It's meant to be a lanyard or fob for, for pulling your knife out. And what's great about it, and I think the um, inception was due to the fact that it's such a deep carry pocket clip that it might be difficult for people to tug their knife out, especially if you end up pinching uh, the, the clip to the handle when you're trying to pull it out. So you put this engagement ring on, bam, you pull it out, it's good to go. I find it works beautifully with the, with the Snaggletooth MF pocket deployer. So this is, a, this is a pretty cool thing for, especially for my winter jacket knife uh, purpose. I used to carry, let's see, the first year I started carrying a, a dedicated knife uh, in my jacket pocket, sorry, I should have been more prepared. It was this. And then the next year, it was this. I've, I guess I've only been doing this for three years or so, carrying a dedicated inside pocket knife for my jacket. I figured this could get through any leather jacket of any assailant. And then I was like, and this, I can just wave open it. I've gotten progressively less aggro in my, in my inside pocket, uh, you know, winter coat knife. So now I'm, I'm using this bug out. It's light, it's thin. Uh, I found I haven't needed to dig into any leather jackets recently. So um, this is working perfectly. And this ring is uh, really spectacular for the purpose. I'll show you, this is my, um, Duluth Trading Company jacket. These things are awesome, by the way. This is a this is a longshoreman's jacket or something like that. It's made from fire hose material. This one's, I have two of these, and this one's pretty old and nicely worn in. But I put it right here, and then it just rides in my jacket. You know how thin the bug out is. Sorry for all this movement. You know how thin the bug out is, right? You know how. Um, light it is so it's perfect for an inside pocket but look when i pull it i can draw it off the pocket now of course i have to pull the jacket away from my body to do that because i don't want to i don't want to risk stabbing myself in the underarm especially considering for this use it would work much better if i put the clip on the other side that's what i do with the other winter knives for the inside pocket I just put the clip on the other side so you can draw it out and have it naturally in hand. 
since I've only really used this for utility purposes, this has been fine. And when I pull out my jacket, pull it away from my body and open it with using the, uh, the snaggle tooth, it works awesome. Now, the one thing that I've had to get used to is not pulling it out and then doing all sorts of flippy, flippy karambit stuff because with this, mm, it's a little, it's a little uh, loose, not loose. It's, it's just too flexible for that purpose. So uh, yeah, this is a pretty cool product from Snaggletooth Tactical. And of course the Snaggletooth MF is awesome. I have it on a number of my knives, uh, mostly, well, all of them are cold steels except for this one. <clears throat> they, you know, that, that sort of uh, pocket deploying um, feature is uh, in my eyes, uh, best kept to tactical knives like, uh, like cold steel. But for this purpose, for pulling it out of my jacket and everything, this thing, this whole setup has been awesome. So check out, uh, go to Snaggletooth Tactical. Uh, they're on Instagram and uh, they, they put up a lot of cool pictures of, of fan photos and stuff like that. And, uh, and go to their website and order some of these cool products. They have uh, others than just what I'm showing you here, but you can get these in um, value packs, I think, where you'll get five for a price cut. I think, oh geez, if that's not true, sorry, Rob. <laughs> but uh, it, I think it used to be. Anyway, Snaggletooth Tactical, always doing cool stuff. I, this is one thing I love about the knife community I, are all of the people who, who improve on the products or help you personalize the products. I mean, look at this. This bug out looks, <clears throat> how can I look at it? It's off screen. This bug out is, is barely stock, you know? I've got this, I've got this, I've got this. Personalized it. That's what I love about companies like Snaggletooth Tactical and I guess Alan Putnam who made these scales or whose company made these scales imbued with my personal filth signature a la advanced knife bro all right there you go thanks for watching